or from my hand to my elbow. And that is so that you don't um, get it tangled while you're weaving. Once you start to get a little bit better, then you can start having string that is longer. And then you're gonna tie a knot. You can get a little piece of paper, fold it in half. And this will help thread your string through the needle. Put it in here. Get your needle, put it through, and then you make a knot. And you keep going and tie a knot here too. And you're careful to cut off the extra. And you go over, under, over, under, under. Once you reach the edge, you can go ahead and put pom-poms right around, or you can put um, some gems to decorate it. Um, but this is, we do have to get all the weight up to the edge. Now you can add gems or sequins. Now we're going to draw the little feet to the turtle and they're kind of like this. So I'm gonna take my pretty painted paper and it's easier to draw on the blank side of the painted paper. So they're kind of like an L. So go ahead and draw like an L for love. And then cut it out. And then a trick for this, because you need three more, is you can fold this up. Like this. And you can trace your L. Legs that way, or you can decorate them. You could do polka dots, spots, patterns, whatever you like. I'm just going to put some spots here. And then I got a small square and if I fold it and draw the letter J, see it's the letter J, and cut it. Then I have my head, and they're going to be the same on both sides. I folded the paper, so there's my head, and 
my body. And then you can put two googly eyes or you can use a Sharpie. And then you take your turtle and you glue it on your artwork and you're all done. You can also put a little tail back here if you like. We have a little tail.